Hello everybody and welcome back to Alex Elliott Golf. Today's video is all about how to create that ball and turf impact. So this is a video addressing those people that kind of crash that ground then ball. So those fat shots out on the golf course. So we're going to talk about what, what causes that and then we're going to talk through how we can eradicate that from your golf game. So this video will not only help those people out there that catch the ground and ball to so those fat shots, but if you're somebody that kind of doesn't make any ground contact, hits very thin shots, and doesn't really make a divot into the ball, this video will help you too, because we're gonna address how we can improve that angle of attack so that downward blow into the golf ball, and ensure with an iron that our bottom of the arc is happening just past the golf ball. So, you're, so if you're someone that kind of scoops into the air, brushes the ground with your irons, doesn't really take a divot, and it's those high, weak iron shots, this will improve your game also. So not only for the people that kind of bat, but also for the people that kind of scoop and catch no ground with an iron. They're all part of the same family. What causes those fat and thin iron shots out on the golf course? Well, it's all about where this bottom of the arc is. A lot of people's bottom of the arc, when they're hitting those fat and thin shots, happens this side of the golf ball. And as we know with an iron, we'd like the bottom of the arc to happen on the target side of the golf ball. So what move do you kind of see with a lot of people that kind of have the bottom of the arc happening before the golf ball with an iron? So they'll make a nice back swing, their hips will go first, the shoulder moves up, so like this, and the body moves back. So you can see here the bottom of my arc is happening this side of the golf ball. So it's kind of this position here. Head's moving back, as you can see, it's almost like I'm gonna hit it on the up, which is not what we want for an iron. As we all know, we wanna hit it on the down, catching that descending blow on the golf ball. If I do that again, it's that move where it's like this into impact, weight's traveling back, shoulder's traveling up, and this will become apparent when we talk about how we can improve this in a second, bottom of the arc happens before the golf ball. So let's address how we can move from that impact position to a stronger, more consistent, better striking impact position. If we could move from this position here, like we said before, so there's no shaft lean, no weight going towards the target, all behind the ball, bottom of the arc's happening before the ball, to a position where we've got a little bit of shaft lean, bottom of the arc's happening past the golf ball, then we're gonna be in a lot better position in order to generate that nice crisp strike ball than turf contact and we start seeing some divots so this is going to feel the polar opposite to you people that catch the ground before and hit those thin shots out on the golf course now let's address it and talk through some simple feelings and tips of how you can improve that impact position you remember i said earlier people that make a nice back swing they get to the top hips to drive forwards shoulder moves up like this in this position here and that bottom of the arc happens before the golf ball and we said before we want to create this position where we're here. Hands head of the golf ball, hips opening up and the shoulders not moved up, so in a stronger position at impact. So let's talk through some simple feelings of how we can generate a better impact position. Number one, my feeling is I want you to feel like you stay centered over the golf ball during the backswing. From here we're gonna have a better chance of creating that stronger impact position. So I really want you to feel centered. So imagine top of my nose staying in the same position throughout the backswing. So top of my nose is not moving behind, it's not moving in front. I want you to feel like the top of your nose is staying in the same position throughout that backswing. So, simple point number one, we're going to feel like we stay centred. So we're going to make a nice backswing, we're going to stay centred. We're not going to move the nose off and we're not going to move the nose forward. We're going to keep the nose exactly where it is. So point number one, that's feeling of staying centred during the backswing. Point number two and point number three work in tandem together and this will become apparent when we're going to talk through it now. So we said point number one, let's create a better backswing, keep the nose where it is, let's stay centered. We're not swaying off and we're not swaying off this way either. So there's no, not too much lateral movement either way. So the feeling on the downswing now, and this is why these two kind of work together because we spoke about in the past, the downswing happens far too quick. So let's not talk about it in incremental little bits. Let's talk about it as a simple feeling we can take straight out onto that golf course. So let's feel like we take that centered backswing and before, we said the hips would move first and the shoulder moves up to create this position here, a weak impact position. I want you to feel, instead of the hips moving first, I want you to feel as though, imagine there's a wall here. So we said the shoulder moves off the wall before. Let's imagine the shoulder works onto the wall. So the shoulder works instead of up and around, the shoulder works down and around, okay? That's the feeling I want you to create. So I'm gonna show the differences here. Down and around, or, up and around. We said we want the shoulder to move, feel that the move is down onto the wall and around, so more level. 
so the shoulders are working more round they're not going to work up and around so imagine there's a big circle on my shoulder i want it to feel like it works more rotary not up punching towards the sky so really simple feeling so again let's show you that one more time it's not going to be up but with the arc happening this side of the golf ball it's going to feel like i'm going to move it down and around to feel like the bottom of my arc is happening on the target side of the golf ball so create that stronger impact position so and this is how it leads me into tip number three now a lot of people that kind of struggle with this feeling of getting the shoulder working and the body working better through the ball in order to generate a better strike i see the head look like this so the head doesn't really move until the ball has gone i want you to feel like this is an annika Sorensen feeling and i really like this and i've used this myself in the past in my own golf game so i want you to feel like and you make practice swings like this staying centered looking up before we've hit it i make a practice swing with this i'm not going to do this with the ball when I make it before we can tip. So straight away, you can see there, my body is all working in tandem together. You can see the difference here. Armsy, not head, not, not head moving before impact. Head moving before. So you can see there, the whole through swing is more collective. It's all working in sequence together. That sh shoulder feel like it works down and around, not up and punching, punching towards the sky off the wall. We're hitting into that wall and moving around the wall with our shoulder. Really simple feeling, so let's summarize that. Let's stay centered. Let's feel like the shoulder works down into the wall and around. And let's feel like my head is gonna follow that ball quicker once I've hit it. It's not gonna hit and then come up. We're gonna feeling with the golf ball so we're gonna follow it with our eyes. So we're gonna look at the logo of my golf ball as soon as I can after I've hit it. If we could implement only kind of one of those things, we're gonna give us a better chance of creating that ball than turf impact. And let's just highlight the reasons why. Because we stayed centered, point number one. We're in a better position to make that move in the downswing now. Shoulders moved onto the wall and around, and the heads come up. You can see here, there's a lot more movement onto my left side. There's a lot more weight transfer, moving that bottom of the arc past the golf ball. Whereas before, head staying still, Bottom of the arc is happening on this side of the golf ball. So that's going to be your fat and thin shots out on the golf course. So we've gone from an impact position that looks like this to one that now looks like this. And that's a really kind of strong impact position that's going to generate better strikes, better shots, and ultimately lower your scores out on the golf course. Thank you for watching today's video, Alex Elite Golf. If you've not already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you next time.